This could very well be the last official episode of supports only. Abyss has reset and as it is the first abyss of the update, it's generally a little bit easier. And this is the first abyss I've managed to 36 star on my main account. Which gives me hope that I could 36 star it on this account. I have more characters than we did previous times we've tried doing this. We have national teams now, we have Kazuha somewhere on A team at some point. So that team does big damage. We have the Hyper Bloom team which does big damage. Also, I need Primos because I'm in the middle of recording a Ride and Pull video and I need Primos because I'm very much out. So, whatever the case is, we're going to get pulls, which is nice. So, without further ado, because it's late and I need to get this video recorded and edited today or tonight because it's already 9 o'clock at night. I've been trying to get other videos done today and that hasn't worked, so I've had to resort to this. So, we're pushing a little bit on time, but... We shall see how it goes. These are the teams that I'm going to run. We have national team there. Farina's buffing these guys damage. Kazawa's doing damage buffing and Bennett's buffing as well. And Shangling's there to do the big damage. Farina also does damage. And then we have the Hyper Bloom team. We have Nahida and Cookie and Kokomi are the main Hyper Bloom people. And then we have Sijuin because Cookie kind of kills her own HP and we need a healer. We have Kokomi which is a good healer but I don't tend to do Kokomi too on field healing and... Siege win just good overall, just as another character. I could use Yao Yao or Baiju, but I just like using Siege win. She's what I've run on my Hyper Bloom team since I got her, so it's just easy. So let's get into this. We start off with the absolute worst floor of Spiral Abyss I've ever come up with, and that is this one, because we have to fight all the Saurians, and that's something I don't want to do because they're cute, especially the little ones. But I need my Primos. And there we go, just like that. Law 9 is done very easy, as it always is. We're going to keep the same teams for Floor 10. Also works because the first half is normally a little bit easier in most cases. And that is a side where I don't have as much damage. They still do good damage, but just not quite as much as Hyper Bloom. Oh no, I just realized... My Shang Ling isn't built properly. I'm going to need to change that. She is currently not running her weapon, which is not going to help us. Now, I'm not keeping most of 9 and 10. Actually, I kept most of 9 in the video because I was talking through most of it. But I'm not keeping most of 10 in the video because I don't really need to. It's pretty basic and easy, and I'm not really thinking about what I'm doing too much. As you can tell by whatever the hell that rotation was. Probably the worst rotation you have ever seen. Everything was backwards. But, as I said, don't really need to focus on that. It's pretty easy. Oh yeah, and C6 Bennett is also helping us out because we're getting more pirate application whenever we're just doing stuff. If I'm ever just normal attacking, we're actually still getting pirate application because, you know, Bennett C6. And there we go, just like that. Floor 10 is done. Now we get into the slightly more difficult chambers. But before we do that, let me make sure everyone is currently using the correct weapons. What we do need to change is this. Shang Ling has been running a level 1 Black Tassel, which not going to help our damage too much. We need this. And I don't think I can level it up. No. But that is going to get us at some much nicer stats. It's not great, but it's okay. Let's continue. Law 11. Pretty easy. There is these consecrated beasts and mirror maidens which are a bit of a pain and this is annoying monolith stuff however with Kazuha that first half is pretty simple as long as I remember to use Kazuha and the second half is even easier because it's just ruin guards and they only attack you not the enemies or not the monolith oi don't do that come over here all of you over here I do not like the current HP of this thing. It's not looking to crash hot. Please. You die. I'm not too phased about the other half because I know we'll be able to clear it easily with... Okay, we'll be, we'll be able to clear this easily. Because these Ruin Guards just target me. Over here. Oi, oi, oi. Don't do that. Why are you targeting that? I'm here. Hello. Focus on me. Yes. You too. No, wrong way. Yep, there you go. 
I got plenty of heals, just all the damage directed towards me, not that monolith. Okay, there we go. A little bit lower than I would have liked, but there we go. Monolith is done. Don't need to deal with any of those stupid things anymore. Now we just have time. We just need to complete things in time, which we should be able to do, but we shall see. Okay, there is chamber two done. Now we're on to chamber three. We're looking good ish so far i'd like to be a little bit more confident in that and be more like we're looking good not good ish but i'll take it at least we're not looking bad what the hell happened with that burst that was all over the shop okay that took longer than i would have liked for that one enemy but there we go floor 11 is done not too much of a problem this is where we're going to start to face our problems. First half should be, or first chamber should be fine. Second chamber might be pushing it with these guys, but also shouldn't be too bad. That we do have the Jade Plume Terra Shroom, which is a bit of a pain, but we'll see. This is where it's going to be more of a pain. The Mechanical Array, again, shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully it is level 100, but it hopefully shouldn't be a problem. This dude, Mountain King, whatever it is, is going to be very difficult. Uh, at least we have Pyro, but it's still not going to be the most fun. Oh well, let's see how this goes. Okay, that's not good. What is that field thing that keeps doing damage? Don't like that. I kind of did anticipate this. This isn't going to be super smooth sailing. We are going to have to probably do this a couple times. However... If we can just keep a solid amount of damage up, we should be doing something. These guys are a pain, though. Up oh, and there goes Kazura again. We kind of need him. I'm not liking how many times I have to redo this first half. Although, we are going for 36 stars, so as I said before, not going to be easy. Die. Okay. Good. We're done with that. Now we just have to fight whatever's on this side. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. I shouldn't say that. Speaking way too early. This is one thing where I'm glad I have been playing Wuthering Waves a lot recently. Is because I'm getting better at watching enemies' attacks and not getting hit by them. Which is very good when your characters don't have the most HP in the world. We just lost three stars. We're going to need to go a lot faster then. Okay, let's do this, everyone. Let's go a lot faster than you have been. I think these Fatui guys are really making our job not easy. Okay, that was a lot quicker. Okay, that's good. That's good. We like. Now, we have 8 minutes 40 over here. Just go really, really quick, please. We have zero time to mess around. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. We have a minute for this. That's not as good as I would have liked. But, come on. It's a Hydra enemy. It's perfect for Hyper Bloom. Just shred through everything, please, really quickly. Okay, halfway through its health bar. We got half a minute left. We got 30 seconds left. Come on. You can do this. Go, Cookie and Nahida. Come on. Yes. Okay, there we go. Three stars. Oh, this is stressful. And that was only chamber one. That's not even chamber two. This isn't looking too crash hot for us. That being said, we keep going. Yeah, this went significantly quicker on my main account. That being said, I do expect that considering we have Alakino, who deletes everything. Okay, awesome. That was okay time. Now we just have... What have we got over here? Oh, Magu Kenki. That may be a problem. Especially because you can't do damage to him half the time. So that's not good. Plus this guy is not dying quickly. Yeah, we have 20 seconds. Oh, don't kill Cookie. Okay. Mm. I don't know about you, but this isn't looking too crash hot. I'm trying to think. Do I have any stronger teams? Not really. So, uh, I don't know about you, but this isn't looking too crash hot for me. Considering 
this is taking a considerable amount of effort to just get through without even dying. But if we can at least get through Spiral Abyss, that is progress because we haven't actually even gotten through floor 12 on this account. So if we can at least get through it, that is progress. I don't think, just from the way things are going, we will have to worry about this account finishing anytime soon because this is one of the easier abysses and we are struggling quite hard. So, yeah, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Yeah, no, this is not looking like a very good run. So I think I'm just going to try to actually complete Spiral Abyss today because that is still progress. Not as much progress as I would have liked, but progress nonetheless, I guess. I would have much rathered us 36 out the abyss, but that's, yeah, not looking too crash hot. Also, I need to remember to use Siege Wing's burst because she is built as a burst DPS kind of at the moment. So her burst kind of hits hard. And by that, I mean it hits 14K per hit, which is not very hard, but it's something. Whatever they need is a Xian Yun. Why? Because then I can do 70k with Xin Yen. Because yes, that is entirely possible. And not like physical damage, 70k pyro damage. It is entirely possible and very satisfying. And that was with a bad build. That was on my main account. I built Plunge Attack, Xin Yen with Xian Yun and C6 Bennett and Farina. Yep, there goes three stars. I'm not even going to try anymore. I was going to, but yeah, just look at the health bar we've got at the moment. There's not a very good chance that we're going to be able to actually do this. So I'm just going to try to survive. And we were doing like 70, 80k plunge attacks. So that might help this account considering we don't do a whole lot of big damage that regularly. This account's the highest and that's a whole 36 or so. Okay, there we go. Only two stars, but as I said, I'm just trying to get this done. I don't really care about stars anymore. These big dendro things or, you know, dendro looking green things. You know, the Jade Plume Terra Shroom and this, I don't know what, the Mountain King. They're all very annoying enemies to fight because they always are very, they move a lot. That, don't do that. I mean, you could do that and I could just... I could just complete it. You know what? Screw it. We... Hello? Oh, my key... My finger's on the wrong buttons. We should still be able to do it. I don't really care. I don't really care at this point. Okay, there we go. First side done. Now I have Perpetual Mechanical Array with one minute to go. So the likelihood of that, not very high. However, we should hopefully... I should actually be attacking this because I can. Come here. We should hopefully get two stars. Then that... I'd be happy with that, because then we're only missing out on total of two stars. Which, to be honest, is pretty good, considering last Abyss video, I don't think we could even clear floor 12. I'll check that once we finish this, because I can look at the records. But I feel like we didn't, e we couldn't even get like into floor 12. So, being able to 34 star it is okay. And there goes three stars. Expected? Yes. Did I want it to happen? No. But, I mean, realistically, there was no way we were 36 star in the abyss. Not with this mediocre damage. Which is why I need to build more characters and actually try to get some better damage. Focus on more meta teams rather than silly teams and building everyone, which is what I have been doing. So, I think that'll be some upcoming videos in this account is actually building some, you know, meta characters so I can hopefully clear the Abyss because we don't have any DPS on this account, so that makes clearing the Abyss significantly harder than it needs to be. However, we are getting Raiden Shogun, hopefully, if we can win the 50-50, and she's going to help with that because she is a support. Not the biggest support, but is a support. Please, please die really quickly because then I can get three stars. I mean, two stars. Okay, there we go. The Abyss is done. Boom. There we go. Spiral Abyss has been completed. I think that's the first time we've done that. So, big improvements. But if we look at the Abyss runs, 27 stars has been our top. And that is three starring both 9, 10, and 11. And now we have pushed that up to 34 stars. So, 
while yes, not exactly how I wanted this video to go, I wanted to 36 star the abyss, we're only two stars off, which means with a little bit of improvement and just sort of smoothing out some of the teams, getting a little bit more damage out of them, you know, doing some stuff like that. I've, it's definitely, definitely possible. We are going to need to do a little bit of work for it, but building a few more meta characters should definitely help out with our damage and team's synergy, as well as just building the characters in general, because they're not the greatest built, they're not the worst, but they're also not the best. We have 700 more pools now for Raiden, not pools, primos, which only give us four more pools, which isn't really great. However, we do get a standard pool from doing that, which gives us a lovely blue. And seeing as we have the 700 primos, I was going to do it in the Raiden pulling video, but I figured, you know, let's just pull, use them now. The likelihood of us getting Raiden is kind of low, and I want to pull, because then hopefully I can get something that can make up for not 36 star in the abyss. Last pull. At least a 4 star, not, not even a 4 star, great. Not exactly how I would have liked things to go, I would have liked, you know, 36 star abyss as I've said. However, 34 stars we will take it, that is a 7 star increase, so I mean, I'll take it. That's 7 extra stars and however many more primos that we didn't originally have that we now have. And now I know that I will need a little bit stronger of a team to 36 star the abyss. And we got very close to actually finishing this account off. Or, you know, quote unquote, finishing this account off completely. Which means, guess what? You get more supports only videos. Because this is like episode 49 or something now. We've been doing this for so long. I think we've probably been doing this, I think, almost a length of my channel. So almost two years. But uh, yeah, enough yapping. I always yap around this time of the video. So enough of that. I'm going to end it here. I'm going to need to get this edited. And then we should have some building videos coming. Pulling for Raiden, pulling for Kinich on my main account. All of that fun stuff that I still need to farm for because I'm not lucky. But this account is definitely nearing its end. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and this series as a whole. As we are nearing the 50th video on this account. It's it's getting on there. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you like some content, do consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And good. Bye. Thank you.